And this is Dark Purple. Uh, Susan Strong is back. I think it's revealed that she's human, right? It looked like there's some sort of weird something in her head, but she had, like, normal ears yeah. and stuff. So and, uh, I'm assuming that means she's human, so that's cool. You go, Susan. Um, pretty much it starts off with uh, there's this soda called Super Porp. And it's just the purple soda. And they're like, you ever wonder where it comes from? It's like, nah, we could go on an adventure and find out and stuff, but, you know, don't wanna. So Susan Strong comes in after God knows how many episodes, you know, not mm-hmm. seeing her. And she comes back and she's got her little uh, crystal gems with her fighting against uh, Super Poor up here. R- really crystal gems. It's the, one that the, the creator worked on this show. So come on, give him a little... They're ripping off Futurama with this episode anyway. Might as well reference another show. Come on. Come on. It's Slurm. Or Slurm, whatever it was called. Did you ever see that episode of Futurama? The one that ripped off uh, Willy Wonka? Yes! So the circle continues. Anywho. uh, So they find this baby that is going to be, I guess, the new mascot. And... They go to this factory. It's a bunch of these very strange kind of purple creatures that just make the soda. (laughs) And they go. They get the baby back. (laughs) And, um... (laughs) The end. (laughs) She wasn't wearing your hairnet. (laughs) Yeah, she wasn't wearing a hairnet. Um, so, uh... It was a fun little adventure. My big question, outside of taking the baby, which, yeah, that's a bad thing and everything, but... What were they really doing that was, like, awful? Like, cause she was like, you know, no, porp, bad, stop drinking porp, awful. And so, was there anything revealed that was like, no, this is brainwashing him or making him terrible or anything like that? I mean, their working conditions were obviously not good, but, you know, lemon grabs isn't always that great either. They get one bite for dinner and that's it. <laughs> um, so... I don't know. It was, it was a little confusing. It seemed like, hey, here's just an odd, strange episode. Um, yes, like because the last one was so not strange. <laughs> well, but even then, there's kind of like this, you know, almost like this existential focus on self and everything. You know, this one's like, eh, it's just going to do some weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in a soda factory, why? Why not? <laughs> um, and it's fine. Uh, I liked... You know, a little bit more intrigue. We see Susan without her hat, and uh, looks like I don't know what that—either a scar, or like a chip, or something. It looks more like a chip. To yeah, me. yeah. That, that that was put in her head, um, and it seems seemingly human. Um, and uh, you know, it's it's fine. It's creative. I, I love the designs of those workers. How they all yeah. look a little different. Sort of the weird hind legs, or some even have like legs coming out of their backs and stuff like that. Yet they all have hair nets. <laughs> <laughs> and I like. I kind of like the way they operate too. Like some could speak pretty well, but then would just you know the same one that was like, no, you cannot have the porp. We are told not to have the porp, so we're not going to do that. We have to follow the laws. But then like when she grabs Susan, she's like, are you new here? Are you new here? Are you new here? I, I kind of like like trying to figure out how these things work and what their mindset is. Um, so and I like, I, I kind of like how uh, Susan doesn't always catch on to what she's doing is not the brightest either. Like, wait, why is Susan waiting in line? Susan did not think this out very well. <laughs> it's like because I was thinking too. Like, wait, yeah, why is she doing that? <laughs> and anytime she said baby. I love that. <laughs> just saying, touch, just say, bye bye! Uh, that cracked me up. Um, so, that's my take. Now, you talk about your much better explanation about how, what this was all about, how we can all benefit from it. It's actually super, super deep and brilliant. Well, actually, I want to say this for one. I don't consider this a ripoff or even a copy of uh, Futurama. And I like Futurama, and I actually I like that episode. Futurama was a parody of Willy Wonka. This one is nothing like that. No, but they okay. go to a, they go to a pop factory. No, okay, that's they, the only similarity. No, no, no. They go to a soda factory where bad stuff is happening, and the workers are kind of creepy. And there's one mastermind over oh, no, 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 the no, whole no, no, thing no, no, that is also on. the face of the corporation. And it even has a weird name like Porp and Slurm. That is so <laughs> similar. No, it is not. For one, there's. <laughs> It's even like a weird color, isn't it? Isn't it orange in Futurama and it's purple no, here? No, it's green. Oh, is it? That's still yeah. weird. That's a weirder color. 
Really? Nothing about really? Mountain Dew is natural. This is not exactly my Nothing point. about it. I wouldn't be shocked if that came from either of those factories. It probably came from both. <laughs> it's a combination of the two. Well, Green no. and purple make blue. The only thing that they that Susan finds weird at this place is them wanting to take the baby to make a new mascot. No, but she's They're against not... it before also. Well, she's like, do took, not drink, don't drink. I took her more as kind of like she's like a health nut. <laughs> well, if you think about it, you know, I, I'm I'm hero strong. Mm. I don't need that stuff in my system. I'm hero strong. But she could just not have it. She's telling everybody not to drink Like it. other health nuts do. <laughs> think about it. When does a health nut walk around going, it's okay that you're eating that stuff. I don't care. Well, I do, and I am just the epitome of great health. <laughs> yeah, same here. Exactly. So we're we're the only two, huh? Hypocrite. But no. So that's the only thing that's wrong there. There's there's nothing else really bad going on there. Futurama, they go there and there's basically slavery going on, and then there's also this giant slug shitting this into. This is uh, arguably slavery. I don't know. It's like yeah, they are fighting, but they're clearly kind of brainwashed and will just do whatever. Actually, they the look like they says. actually come from. Yeah, Before. whatever that purple stuff is, yeah. yeah. Uh, but that's the thing, we don't find out what it is, it's just a pop. That's the only mm-hmm. thing going on there, you know. There's nothing else going on. Okay, so... That's all I'm saying. I, 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 I mean, I like, mean, take the baby is weird, but it's like, why didn't they just ask somebody? <laughs> well, then that would make too much sense. <laughs> no, but that's kind of the thing, that's why I'm like, I'm a little lost on it. It, it just kind of seems like an excuse for some cool visuals and fun little fights and jokes and stuff, which is fine. I mean, I'm not against that. Um, Well, the way I kind of look at it is, I mean, it's almost a knock at the overall take on pop Mm. in general with the way that society looks at pop. Everyone drinks it. It's like coffee. Mm -hmm. Everyone drinks coffee and coffee's okay because, you know, it's coffee. But pop is kind of like looked down on and shied away because it's bad for you. It's not good for you. But people, hell, me... I blindly grab the dew and I start drinking the dew because, well, it's dew and it's good. <laughs> do I want to question where it comes from? Do I need to know where it comes from? No, it's good. I don't give a crap. Mm-hmm. But then there's those people that always like to go behind the doors to find out what's going on, that sneak around a factory trying to find the problems that are going on there. I don't think you need to sneak. I mean, and can't they, people just taste it? I mean, even if you like it, you can taste the bad for you in it. <laughs> exactly. But that's not good enough for some people. Some mm. people, they have to, instead of taking the baby back and being like, I'm done and over with this, I saved the baby, she ends up destroying the entire place. Mm. Because, you know, saving the baby wasn't good enough or proving that this stuff isn't the best for you isn't good enough. Mm. We have to take that joy away from everyone. So you think that Susan Strong, even though she saved the baby, is kind of the anti-hero in this. Like, you're not actually... You think that she's pushing her health nutness onto all of this as actually kind of a bad guy. Well, think about it. The girl next to her is like... And and she hooks it. I mean... Okay, I... I think what you're pointing out is, like, interesting commentary. I'm pointing out is I don't think that was the original intention. (laughs) I, I, I think it was supposed to be, like, you know... Susan saves the day, gets the baby back, the soda industry was doing something bad, but they forgot, outside of taking the baby, which is bad, obviously, and still makes no sense, they forgot to put in what's really super bad about it, because they never made it clear how those people's minds work, if it is slavery, or it's not, if they're just a part of the gunk or whatever, or where the soda comes from. Um, so, I don't know, which makes me think all the more they were probably inspired by the Futurama, because they clearly did show where the problems were, um, you know, and what was wrong with it. But, yeah, that's why, like, I mean, it, it's still fun and funny, but, yeah, it was a little hard to get behind it, because I'm waiting for that big reveal of, like, oh, where's the real terrible thing that's going to make her right? And... You know, the baby thing is really bad, and but like you said, after they get the baby back, they like, destroy this place, and yeah. I'm kind of like, why? Well, that, that's my thing. In the beginning, you have our main characters, our heroes, our mm. good guys, all enjoying the drink, mm. having fun with it, saying, this is the day we wait for. Mm. We're excited when we get a new shipment, and this is great. Then we go to this one health nut that that is like, no, you can't have it because it's bad for you, so I must stop everyone from having it. Oh, they stole the baby? Okay, I'm going to go get the baby. But that's not enough. 
May maybe if they emphasize like the worst things it was going to do to your body or something, it would make more sense. Like it's well, slowly yeah. gonna turn you purple or into a monster. Or maybe like that's where those workers came from. They kept drinking it and that's what they became. That would be kind of clever. Yeah. But it's like but they don't do that. So Because health nuts never usually find anything. Because the people it's like smokers. Bullshit! There's well, lots to find! <laughs> it's like smokers. Again, smokers know smoking is bad. They don't need health nuts and people shoving labels and everything all over the place. It's like, oh, I'll, I'll quote Dennis Leary. Oh, shit! I thought this had vitamin C in them and stuff. <laughs> and smokers aren't idiots. Yes, 20 years ago, when we really didn't know what was going on, okay. Nowadays, people smoke because they choose to smoke. Well, what I'm and wondering... we don't need a health nut going, it's bad for you, it's bad for you, it's bad... Really? Duh. <laughs> There is a, and um... Pop, everyone knows pop is bad for you! Yeah. No, we don't they, need, you know, warning labels and everything. And that's my thing, is that that's kind of what Susan represents. Is that consistent beating over the head that this is bad for you, this is bad for you, this is bad I don't care if you like it, and you know it's bad for you, you can't have it. You really think that was the intent of the episode? I think so. I mean, okay. think about all the other episodes. There's intent there. Hmm. I mean, I, yeah, you can interpret, you know, however you want to interpret. Um, but... Plus, I like how it's them. They're like, we could totally do this adventure, but nah, let's not ruin it. <laughs> and then we get some other characters to take over, which I like always seeing. Susan Strong, I may not agree with what she did, but I liked seeing another character. Yeah, it was fun seeing her character. again, yeah. Like her and her, I'm <laughs> perfectly disguised. <laughs> <laughs> the baby! <laughs> um... No, it's sort of going off what you said there, there is a uh, movie called, a documentary on Netflix called Fed Up, and uh, it's about, you know, what you expect, you know, showing how all of his bad food is really bad for you and stuff, you mm. know, big shock. And the one thing that took for him that was kind of interesting was that uh, all these people in Congress are trying to show that, you know, the things like soda and these sugar cereals and stuff are actually still totally okay for you and that you know no in a moderate you know moderation like little amounts it's fine and stuff and they're the movie and scientists are very much trying to show no it's not it is still very bad for you but i'm with you it's you still have the right to have it and to eat it and enjoy it um you know the the having the kids you know the cartoon characters on there I kind of agree with them. I'm like, I don't know if we should do that. They had a great edit. Wait, no, they had this. This is one of the greatest edits of all time in a documentary. Um, no matter what you think of it. It showed, because uh, they were trying to compare it to the cigarettes. Because like you said, for years, Congress was trying, to, or these people were trying to do the same thing. Go to Congress. Oh, it's fine. There's no connection whatsoever. Yeah. And they're blowing smoke out their ass, pun intended. But, uh, I, okay, being no. a smoker, I was never, or when I was, I never was able to blow smoke out my ass. <laughs> well, they did it very well. Damn it. Um, but, uh, <laughs> so it cuts from the famous cigarette commercial with the Flintstones yeah. to a Fruity Pebbles commercial. I'm like, that's inspired. That's a brilliant <laughs> edit I right is, there. That is That good. was so smart. Um, but, and, and it made its point, like, in two seconds. Amazing. Uh, but... You know, the thing with that, even though there are people trying to make what everybody in the world knows is a bullshit argument. I mean, yeah. everybody. It's the same thing with the smoker. Uh, yeah, it's it's the same thing with that Super Size Me movie. I'm like, we really need a movie to say this? Or have we really gotten so dumb that we need something to be spelled out this obviously? Uh, well, fact, seen... Who the hell is even looking this up? Is McDonald's health food? Is Fruity Pebbles health food and stuff? Oh, well, Congress says it's okay. I mean... Who is actually, if you're dumb enough to go and look up that information, you deserve every false information you get. <laughs> I agree. It's, it's, what my problem I had with Super Size Me was this guy who pretty much ate decently healthy from what he mm -hmm. says, all of a sudden stops eating anything and just eats McDonald's for all three meals. Mm -hmm. It's like, duh! Yeah. <laughs> Everybody in the world. I mean, this. it's like, I eat McDonald's every once in a while. And it's like, okay, yeah, it may be good for me, it may be bad for me, but... Unless you are actually eating that three times a day, and if you are eating that three times a day, you have more going on there than just health issues. Yeah, no, and that's, I mean, th that's my thought, is that it has to be, I'm sure there are people that have it three times a day, yeah. have it a lot and stuff, but again, they they have to know it's bad, but it's, it's kind of like a Trump supporter, no matter what you say to them, is not going <laughs> to convince them otherwise. Yeah. You know, it's like they are set in their ways, they have drank the Kool-Aid or the 
Mountain Dew, whatever you want to call it. You know, or the Porp. They Sponsor drank me. It. Sponsor me. <laughs> they drank it, and they're just going to be that way. And, yeah, so it's one of those things where it's like, it's... I mean, I guess it's... I just don't know who thinks that. Who thinks McDonald's is health food and well, stuff. Uh, you know, no and, and that soda does. is good and everything. So, or that smoking is good. No I, I think because does. we did have that lie with smoking for so many years, and they so stood by that it was fine and there's no connection to death and stuff like that and then of course this big reveal that all of that was bullshit i think there is this big concern about you know our food is it as healthy as we're saying it is and what a the, the first line is very obviously probably not yeah. to who doesn't know this yeah exactly. <laughs> you, you have to know nowadays with all the awareness that they have had with organic food and everything else that if you really want to eat purely healthy and stuff like that you, you really got to work for it and you got to look for it and you, you know, had it is to have not, a lot you, of money yeah you can't just go to your local grocery store and you know 90 percent what you get at the grocery store is going to be terrible for you yeah you know i mean i just i think people know this but so but, yeah but but that's my thing when okay when i started smoking god Years ago, when I was 18, actually, my first cigarette was when I was 18. That's so totally legal. Yeah, I was actually, I, I other stuff I did, uh, never mind. I was gonna say, um, you probably got high as hell, but oh, the first god, yes. <laughs> but no, I actually waited until I was 18 to start smoking, and like, I did it because I was curious about it. Not because some commercial told me to, not because I thought it was gonna make me look cool, not because I thought it was good for you. I was curious, huh? Smoking, I smoke other things, why don't I try this? Mm -hmm. You know. And, you know, now I've been quit for almost three years or two years. So I I quit cold turkey. It's been two years. I don't feel a desire to go back. But it's like the entire time I smoked, I knew it was bad. Mm -hmm. I know it's not good for you. No one tricked me into it. And anyone that says that they are tricked my age and on mm -hmm. for me, okay, yeah, yes. fair enough. But in my age, no, you can't you can't say that anymore because it's everywhere and whatnot. And it's like pop, it's like everything. We have so many warning labels and people telling us that blank is bad and this is bad. Hell, video games are bad. Horror movies are bad. Everything's bad for you. You're just a house of sin. Pretty much. Oh, God, <laughs> Look yes. at all the horror movies there <laughs> and the soda. <laughs> but that's kind of my thing is that we've gone past the point of like being able to enjoy yourself because now everything is just bad for you. Well, I think see, I think you can still enjoy it. It's well, more, hell yeah, I yeah, can. I, I, yeah. I, I think it's more like you know how much do they, how much do we want to sacrifice of common sense and parents just pass on their kids? Hey, this is bad. Here's where you go to find the actual good stuff. Yeah, you know, and, and fat free doesn't real doesn't mean healthy. You know, yeah. I mean, a lot of the stuff you know doesn't equal that. Everything is bad for you in excessive amounts. You have too much air, it will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> you have too many carrots, it will kill you. Mm -hmm. Like, so, I mean, enjoy your life and do whatever you really want to. Just don't, you know, mess with other people and do it in moderation. Well, and the funny thing, you were talking about the soda there. I gave up soda maybe, God, what is it would be now, like... Maybe ten years ago, something like that. Not like cold turkey. I'll have one every. You know, I have one when I came here. I haven't yeah. had Mountain Dew in a long time. Um, so like, I'll have one every once in a while. But I used to have, you know, a soda a day minimum. Yeah. And then at some point, I'm just like, you know, like my, I'm feeling this in my neck. It doesn't feel good. And I'm just like, I don't need this. I, I know I'm not addicted to it. When I just stop drinking it. Whenever I go out, I'll just get water. And yeah, I just it was just like you and smoking. I just did. It's like, yeah, that feel better. It's good. Um, so I think it is one of those things where even though I know they're addictive, I know bad food and smoking, all that stuff is super addictive, uh, which again, I think they're making a much stronger case for now with food and everything, but yeah, I feel like, you know, it, it can be quit, you have to know going in, I mean, you have to know, you have to. Yeah. Um. If you don't, you're lying. Yeah, I, I think you're or lying you're here, so. Or you're like oblivious to existence. Yeah, which... I mean, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of you out there who are. Uh, <laughs> I'm out on that one. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. Uh, bottom line, um, Mountain Dew is great. And uh, it'll kill you, but you have a nice, tasty blue death. It will not kill you! Ah! 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 Hey, Jory, you want to do a be luck? Nah, I'm busy smoking. Hmm.